Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. It's going to be my top build for Maurice after 99 MP is gone. It's actually going to be two builds. Um, one, if you don't have maybe his crazy stuff, uh, this one. And the second one, if you have crazy stuff, it's more gem damage based. They uh, are fairly similar. I'll just give you a flash at what the trainers are. Um, on the second one, this one hits much harder. Like at gold, it'll be it'll scale way better. Um, but as you can see, it's a much harder setup, needing brawn, 17k Santa, and then Brett would be fairly ideal, or Memrock, you know, or Zombie Gunther. Anyway, um, we're going to start with this one because I think more people are going to be able to uh, resonate with this and run it. Um, especially if you have that other stuff, you probably aren't going to run Maurice anyway. Um, but anyway, uh, triple yellow. Um, 7 MP Russian Leg Sweep, deal 404k damage, choose 6 gems to make into yellow. Clothesline, deal 713k damage, um, and force your opponent to tag. Do not use in singles matches, but we're going to use in singles matches. Camel Clutch, 10 MP Submission, generate 28 random sub gems, uh, do 349k 4 turns, remaining turn into multiplied gems of strength 4. Uh, entourage for this one is all super sub. Uh, yellow MP, uh, yellow MP subs do 100 more damage, um, subs do 50% one more turn, and all subs do 50% more damage in one more turn. Brings the sub up to 6 million over the duration. Um, for the strap, you can see I actually have a Fury strap. Um, takedown would be better for this, um, but I am running Takedown 2 Metals because the move damage is decent-ish um, to get that move damage up. Uh, so we can hopefully win at like two cycles at silver. Um, I do think this caps out at silver. I'm also going against a striker. Um, you will this damage like gold. It's a lot more turns. It's probably like four cycles or five. Uh, so not ideal. But at silver, I think it's still pretty workable, and more people can run it. Of course, we have also have Ronda's jacket. Uh, that's create a sub gem or sub gems like four or five or something three. And then increase your yellow black gem damage 100% for two turns. Um, so anyway, gameplay loop's really simple. Um, you do move the pin bar a lot. So the finisher won't be loaded turn one. You do only need three MP to move it. Um, a three match. However, if you want to be able to recycle, um, you also need to match another three. So the yellow move is charged next turn. If you didn't have Logan... Um, you can see that does 2.5 uh, million. If you didn't have Logan, you could also use um, NWO Hogan or Rikishi. And then when you do the two, three yellow matches, you'd hit this one twice on the first turn. Um, so there's that, um, which is, I guess, pretty cool, right? Um, but anyway, uh, it just gets you a little bit extra if you didn't have Logan. Um, but Logan is definitely preferred. So then 2-3 yellow matches, reloads both of those moves, gets you ready for next turn um, here. And then you hit your sub and you do 6 million damage. So it's basically a 10 million damage loop for those three moves, plus we're leaving multiply gems. And you can, because this one you can see hits for like 1.4... Uh, 2.5, that's 4 million, 6 million there. So it's like a 10 million loop, right? Uh, we don't have much pin bar to work with. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Um, so we could do 6 and reload them, but the finisher or the sub wouldn't be reloaded. So in this case, uh, I'm just going to turn as many multiply gems as I can yellow. We'll get that and that. Oops. Eh. And actually, let's... I think we can do better like that. Yeah. Another six mil uh, total, and she can't kick out, right? So two cycle win. Uh, well, actually, technically, it's one cycle and then the choose again in that case. But we do have a class advantage, so keep that in mind, although it doesn't do a ton on that. So that's like pretty standard um, for how that'll play. It does not fare nearly as well at gold, though. I'll run it one more time, and then we'll switch over to the other one. 
uh, because health pools go up two and a half times. This is also the lowest health opponent available at 20 million, a striker. They have the lowest health, so those are worth keeping in mind, right? It's worth noting. And that's why I don't particularly love her for gold. I think silver um, or bronze is kind of the sweet spot for Maurice. But, you know, if you don't have uh, certain showboats uh, with stuff, like, then, um, you know, she's probably your, your best bet. If you don't have, like, Charlotte with gears, uh, you don't have Jade, Cargill, then she's probably the best option at showboat, so... Here we have a little more room, uh, because she kind of cascaded, so we can reload the sub again, um, I think, with like a, one, that's one, two, four, we can do a row break, and I think we should be good, no, I think we'll, uh, math is hard, four, eight, the three match would be nine, and we do have one, so yeah, we can get by with the three match. Perfect. And it's over now. So, if they move the pin bar enough that you can do that, that's kind of ideal, but it doesn't always happen. They need to do, like, you need to not cascade at all, and then they need to match at least six gems, right? So, that's, like, kind of a perfect way that runs. Uh, stuff can go wrong with sub builds, of course. Now, this build, it's um, significantly harder, but it also has... Much more rare stuff, 50% gem damage strap, um, acolyte plate for 50% more gem damage, and then we have brawn breaker, and so you need 17k Santa to make it work in feud. Um, so it's worth noting, but it does hit, it does hit for sure, uh, a lot harder. So I do want to show it because I don't think I bothered with this in my preview because I just thought in my brain like if you have brawn you're probably not going to use maurice but then i'm like i should probably do it um for this one so still round his jacket acolyte plate this i just recently got on my main account from a feud bag i hadn't got one before that so it is available in feud bag so i do think people will have this that uh potentially are free to play um brawn not so much <laughs> and 17k santa not so much uh, you could also put the Acolyte on in the previous build. Whenever you make six or more submission gems, increase all your gem damage by 50% for your next turn. Um, move damage metal, you would want to be yellow. I don't know why I don't have that equipped, but you would again want a yellow move damage metal for this with the Fury 2s. And the only difference is we're subbing in a um, the countdown gem move, Canadian Backbreaker, for the clothesline. Deal 529k damage, make 25 random gems into one turn countdown gems that will deal 142k damage and make three random gems into snowfall yellow gems at the end of the countdown. Um, entourage for this one, like I said, is much more difficult. Um, if for some reason you have NWO perfect and you want to run this, you can drop Santa and use like Memrock, but you know. Let's get out there and run this. Uh, gameplay loop is uh, pretty simple. Both yellow moves would be loaded, sub wouldn't, or the yellow and blue move would be loaded, sub wouldn't. So same sort of thing, two, three matches. Um, and then you're going. So two, three yellow matches. And you would start with that. And then you chuck your countdowns. Chuck your sub and kind of wait for the magic to happen. Then you can see the snowfall gems go up here um, and do the thing. Uh, so kind of row break at the top gets us a few columns and then we have room for a three break somewhere else. Um, it isn't lined up necessarily super duper fantastic um there's not really multiplies there i think i'll just go with this like that that one is gonna get turned yellow anyway that's getting broken and so is that so yeah i think we'll just go with that
And you can see that was 16 million gem damage. So at gold, that's like 32 million gem damage off of that. Um, it definitely can do a little bit better. Uh, for sure, and scale better, right? That's like a, a easy one cycle win. So anyway, that's the two builds for Maurice, although I can't see a lot of people doing this, but it probably technically is her best build. Um, but I think most people, something like this would run. Of course, you could do a kind of a combination. Um, if you have like uh, generate yellow gem, you could switch the sub trainers out for like um, brawn instead of Tatanka and then use like yellow gem generate here on both of these. So then you can choose into all of the multiply gems left. So like if you have Hall of Fame Booker T, Powerhouse Hogan, um, Zombie, what's his face, um, Steamboat, then you can choose like five more yellows and you can do your sub and then choose into a bunch of yellows with the Acolyte plate. So you can kind of do some version of the two of them. You don't necessarily need brawn in the countdowns, but I try to keep these a little bit shorter. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share because that really helps me out. Uh, also, like if there's people you really want to see top builds for, let me know. No guarantee I'll do it. But when a lot of people mention the same person, I do try to do it. So thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there. Yeah, Maurice is okay. She's solid. I don't like her for gold um, with like the first build, but I think up to silver, she'll help a lot of people's rosters out.